What up, everybody? This is your boy, Dedrick Cologne from House of Wrestling. And no, this is not a review, but it is the return of Dream Matches. Yes, Dream Matches are back, but yet I put a little spin on it. Um, the previous Dream Matches that I've done have been, you know, WWE versus AEW, Impact versus WWE. Um, i trying to think of other ones that I've done. Mostly it's been that, Impact versus AEW, that whole thing. But um, these are... Very different. Very, very, very different. Um, it's going to be the wrestlers of today versus the wrestlers of yesteryear. Yes, past wrestlers versus the present wrestlers. Um, this is going to be fun. Um, just to give you a little preview. Um, you know, what if uh, Ricky Steamboat from 1988 fought against present day Kenny Omega? Uh, what if the Road Warriors from 1988 fought against the Briscoes? Um, what if Rowdy, Rowdy Piper from 1984 um, fought against MJF of today? Um, that's just to name a few. I've got at least 20 that I've got put together and stuff like that. Um, but that's just to give you a preview of what's to come. Um, so yeah, the, these dream matches are going to be fun. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Uh, follow House of Wrestling on all social media platforms. Uh, follow me, Dedrin180, on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And you know what? Let's get into this dream match. Yes, this is the first dream match. The past versus the present. And, who man, the accolades of both these teams are outstanding. Uh, the team of yesteryear, yesteryear. Uh, NWA Tag Team Champions, WCW Tag Team Champions, uh, WCW NWA United States Tag Team Champions, WWF Tag Team Champions, uh, IWGP Tag Team Champions. And that tag team is the Steiner Brothers versus currently the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, the uh, AAA Tag Team Champions, the ROH Tag Team Champions. Yes, that is FTR. Yes. The Steiner Brothers from 1991 versus FTR. Man, what a matchup. Rick Steiner, Scott Steiner versus Dax Hardwood and Cash Ruler. And what's so cool about this matchup, and when I was thinking about what if these guys fought? What, what if they fought? Like, what if you had the Steiner Brothers from 1991, Rick and Scott Steiner, coming down the aisle in AEW Dynamites with the way they wrestled, and let me tell you something. Go back and watch the Steiner Brothers from, you could go back to 90, 91, uh, even 92. Like, you just look at their matches. Oh, my goodness, man. The quality of matches they had and the opponents. Um, and just throughout the years, man, that, let's just go through uh, who the Steiners, uh, their biggest rivals were uh, throughout the years. Uh, the Road Warriors, Harlem Heat, the Nasty Boys, the Midnight Express, Doom. Arn Anderson and Larry Zbysko, uh, Hall and Nash, Sting and Luger, yes. There is a match between the Steiner Brothers versus Sting and Luger. I believe it's Super Bowl 1991 or 92. One of the best tag team matches ever. It's very underrated, but it was very good. Um, it is uh, a match that is synonymous with Nikita Koloff hitting uh, Sting with the chain, which set off the Sting versus Nikita Koloff feud. Um but just thinking about the, the attributes that the Steiners have and the attributes that the FTR have. Um, FTR is a very technical team. They're pretty much a modern-day uh, Arn Anderson, Tully Blanchard, uh, Bobby Eaton, and Stan Lane, the Midnight Express. They're like a modern version of those guys. And just the athletic um, power, grit, um, technical aspect, amateur wrestling style of the Steiner brothers, the Frankensteiners, the uh, the top rope DDT, the top rope Frankensteiner that they were doing back then. Um, they were doing a lot of stuff that is very innovative. Uh, Rick Steiner with the Steiner line. And plus, the Steiners were somewhat very revolutionary with the belly of the belly. The belly the belly suplex, the belly the back suplex, they were just suplexing people left and right. And just seeing the dynamic between them and FTR, how FTR would 
could cut the ring off. And the comeback between the Steiner brothers and Scott Steiner. And Scott Steiner doing the Frankensteiner. Uh, a man of his size, which is, um, he was innovative for that. Um, now we see everybody doing, you know, hurricanradas and all that other stuff. But back then, in 1991, not a lot of people were doing it. And he was very revolutionary. But just thinking about, let's say we take FTR. And we put him in 1991 WCW. Which, quite honestly, they would fit perfectly. Um, th- they would fit. Um, and ironically, if they were in 1991 WCW, Jim Ross and Tony Schiavone would be calling the match. Which is crazy because if you put the Steiner brothers in modern uh, AEW, Tony Schiavone and uh, Jim Ross would be calling the match. So it's pretty interesting how that works out. But... Um, Putting FTR in that WCW crowd in 1991 and the matches they would have and just the buildup. And I think that's the most important thing, the buildup to the Steiner Brothers and FTR. The, um, the promos, the, uh, the intensity of Scott Steiner's promos back in 91. Dax Hardwood, you know, these guys confronting each other. Uh, the matches that FTR would have on WCW Saturday nights. Uh, that whole dynamic and just that build. Um, and just thinking of the tag teams that um, FTR would f- face leading up to a match with uh, the Steiner brothers. I mean, um, at that time, you know, Flying Brian and Tom Zink, Arn Anderson and uh, Barry Windham. Um, you had the Midnight Express. I believe you did have the Rock and Roll Express at that time. Um, Barry Windham and Dustin Rhodes. Um, I know a year later you had uh, Terry Gordy and Dr. Def Steve Williams. But just seeing though, like FTR in that environment in WCW 91 against the Steiner Brothers. Oh my God, those matches would be... that. There would be a series of matches that they would do. Like that would be a feud that would go on for several months. Um, probably just as long as the feud that the Steiner brothers had with Doom back in uh, 1990, which would be uh, amazing. Now, on the flip side, you put Steiner brothers in modern AEW. With that crowd, with that AEW crowd, um, you know, Rick Steiner with the, the you know, the dog face gremlin, you know, the chant that he would do. Uh, Rick Steiner with, or Scott Steiner with the, uh, Frankenstein and getting the crowd going. Um, Rick Steiner doing the Steiner line um, on FTR. Um, just the that whole dynamic. And then also the dynamic of the Steiner brothers facing the tag teams in AEW uh, leading up to FTR. The Young Bucks. Uh, Swear Strickland and Keith Lee versus the Steiner brothers. Uh, the Lucha Bros versus the Steiner brothers. Um Man, I'm trying to think of what other tag team is in. There's so many tag teams that I'm brain locking right now. But just thinking of that dynamic um, and that environment. And um, now thinking about this matchup, AEW and WCW are very alike. Um, I know a lot of people compare AEW to WCW as far as, oh, they're signing... um, XWV guys, but actually, if you look at the um, the nuts and bolts, and just they're very identical as far as the presentation of professional wrestling, very similar. Um, but man, just just thinking about this match and just it being called in a series of matches, and let's face it, FTR being heels against the Steiner brothers. Oh my God, the underhanded tactics that they would try to use against Rick Steiner. Um, you know, look at what they did with the Lucha Bros and dressing in the green outfit and stuff like that and just doing that whole dynamic. But man, just the the clash of styles, the technical strategic style of FTR versus the power amateur wrestling style of the Steiner brothers. Who man, that would be that that would be dynamic. Um you know, the double team moves that um, FTR does. You know, their finishing move. Just picturing that on the Ste- on Rick Steiner, Scott Steiner. And just, 
like if you just envision like arena that comes to mind just just imagine ftr and the steiners in the scope in virginia uh it's a synonymous place that wcw went to back in the day or let, let's take it back even further you know you have the steiners and ftr and the omni in atlanta um, which was a hotbed for wcw or ftr and the steiners at the charlotte coliseum or green the greensboro coliseum you know that whole you know environment um now flip side and ironically you could say the same for both eras with chicago you know steiners and ftr at the uic pavilion are now uh credit union one arena but you put the steiners and ftr at the united center or at uh the now arena <laughs> the place is gonna go nuts man but man the matchup between the steiners from 1991 and ftr now um you know the accolades the belts um if there is a way to put those teams in a match and um like i said it, it would be funny because if you put them in wcw if you put ftr in wcw and you put the steiners in aew tony giovanni and jim ross would call both matches because they were covering both teams but um just the environment and everything um man that would be so cool to see um i know somebody's probably going to recreate it on a wve 2k22 game which would be so dope if somebody did that um but man just just to um i know for me personally like i was a huge fan and still a, a huge fan of the steiner brothers back then and i'm a fan of ftr and watching both teams and just knowing the quality of work that they've done throughout the years and the quality of work that they did with other tag teams and the matches that they've done with them and to have them in the ring. And, oh, man, I think the uh, out of this matchup, just thinking of Dax Hardwood and Rick Steiner, like that's the that's the one and just the strategic uh cunning side of that or cash wheeler versus scott steiner you know that whole dynamic and just um oh my god this this would be so amazing this this would be amazing i would love this but um let me know what you guys think um how how would this match play out um what would you like them to do uh it's a dream match man just put it out there but yes this is the 1991 steiner brothers versus ftr right now in aew having all the gold in a dream match um oh man it's it, it's it's crazy to think about it, but it's, it is a very interesting dream match to think about um with the steiner brothers from 91 versus ftr um but that is the dream match yes that is the dream match uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, follow House of Wrestling on all social media platforms. And follow me, Dedrin180, on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And yes, there's more dream matches to come. Yeah, there's a plethora of dream matches to come. Uh, with that, I'm out.